Greetings, Exalted Ones. I am Rick Morgan. I am a Jedi Knight and friend of Captain Solo. I bring with me a gift, these two droids. Both of them are hardworking and will serve you well. Just kidding. It's just me, Rick, your friendly comic book scientist. I don't even know why I said that. Um, I want to say uh, this this episode, we're going to test the CBCS case. So last time we did a CGC case for how much UV light it absorbs. Uh, this time we're doing a CBCS case. And uh, spoiler, if you don't want to watch the whole video, it works pretty well. Uh, t about twice as good as the CGC case, but uh, still only about 20% reduction in UV light. So you can watch to get more info and some other updates on stuff I'm doing. Thank you to Buck Farmer, who sent me a CBCS case. Very cool of you, man. That's, that's good work. And um, you know, you notice that in, in this video that the light isn't very steady. It's because it's a flashlight with a lot of LEDs. If I had a plug-in light that if I was not too lazy or cheap to just buy a regular um, you know, UV light, it would be more steady and I'd have a better signal. So uh, I will do that in the future. I just didn't plan on this being so successful. Um, ends up, so far, CGC, not great. Um, CBCS, better, but still not awesome. So that's something I would expose to daylight often. I also want to give a shout out to uh, some other people. Lots of everybody, people have been sending me ideas. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, I've been getting some great uh, tips and tricks on what I can do and ways to improve comics. I love hearing this stuff. All about sharing with the community. I don't want to share it till I try it myself, make sure it works, but good stuff. Other news, I bought a laser cutter today. It's going to be shipped from China. I'll be here in four to six weeks. Uh, and I did some math, and if Immaculate Comics is uh, as successful, successful as it has been for another about 60, 65 years, about that range, um, it will have paid off the laser cutter that I spent $17,000 on, you know. But it's coming, and so it'll uh, it'll be here. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go, and uh, we'll do some stuff. I'll start making things. I have a lot of ideas about things I want to cut and make and do and uh, slant boards and jigs for removing staples and stuff, and I need a better 3D printer, I need better laser cutter, I need water jet cutter. I need, you know, tools and machining equipment to make that work, so that's 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 coming up. So another one I have here is a video, and I'll, I'll show you a video of this soon, maybe even overlay it on here, is I have a Spider-Man 28, which on the surface looks pretty awesome, but is not awesome. In fact, I'll switch over and show you a video of that now. I want to show you this amazing Spider-Man 28 that happened to fall into my possession. It looks at first pretty cool, but it's not very cool. It's been color touched severely and so many times it is almost ridiculous. So what's going on here is that uh, it uh, has been sharpied in and then painted and underneath it there's almost nothing, right? So I'm going to show you some color touch here. And this is the back. You can see we're taking some off the back of the book already. So we look down here, and I'm just going to grab some of this color touch and remove it. And we're going to see what this looks like as it comes up. And you will see some of this color touch come off. And it's there's a lot there. Look at this. There is a ton. This whole spine of this book is touched, and so, and it's more than one too as well. So um, look at that. It's coming up. I'm going to get, no, uh, it's been c commented to me, hey, that's toilet paper. It's really acidic. You shouldn't be rubbing. This is not toilet paper. This is a, a Kim White from Kimberly Clark from Science Tech. It is uh, sizing free, lint free, super soft, and acid free. So and now watch this, folks. You're going to see, you want to see some uh, color touch come up? You're about to see it here. There we go. And below it is oh, nothing. There's like nothing on this book beneath it. This book is, as you know, a black cover. But there was, and this, you know, this normally this solution would not lift the black cover part, but it is coming up and it's everywhere. This whole right side is just color touch. So um, something happened to this book that I don't ever want to think about, but someone tried to fix. And, you know, it's just awful because. There's just nothing underneath it. Um, it's all across the top in here, and it's everywhere. So, I mean, I'm not sure it isn't better just remaining touched, but it's uh, it's almost just painted. You know, there's so much because this book should be just pure black, and normally I can get the touch off and none of the covering, but there doesn't appear to be any coloring covering in for some small distance uh, out. So, uh, and you can even see it if you. If you open the book up in the light, you can see where that kind of area sort of stops. There's like a little 
outline of where that was. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's too sad of a thing because it's a pretty book, right? We don't we don't like to see that happen to any book, but it's overly uh, overly touched, and you can uh, you know it's just a it's a sad thing to see. I just don't like to see that, but we can remove it. I'm not sure it's worth it at this point. I don't think anybody wants this book in that bad of shape, but uh, we can get that off of there. And yeah, it's just there's just so much. Uh, so you can see where it comes off. Look at this. It, it comes off in only a certain area, but in other areas it doesn't take, it isn't clear underneath it. So, um, and the spine is severely rolled. I mean, look at this. The spine is way they held back here, and here's the staple holes, right? So it's uh, something ha something bad happened to this book, and I will love it and hug it. And look at those staple holes here because it's it's my baby. I love Spider-Man books, but uh, this one has seen some abuse my friends and uh anyway on with the video i'm sure i'm boring you guys to death so uh i shall move on so some of you may remember that we did the experiment with the um the cgc cases and it and the uv light and reduced the uv intensity by about by about 10 percent and so we're going to see what happens with a cbc case and this is a gift from again twice now today mr buck farmer Giving us stuff, so we're gonna we're gonna monitor this. I'm gonna go ahead and push play here, and we are going to collect, start collecting data, and it should be pretty low intensity with the light off. We're collecting now, and we are collecting now. So let's go ahead and turn this on, and the batteries are probably a little more dead than they were the other day. We're getting about 12,000 milliwatts per meter squared. And we'll let that sit and get a little bit of a settling in there. It always weakens out at first because the light sort of dims over time. So it's going to be a little bit of a slope. Once we find out where it's going, which is my guess would be around 10,000. All right. Let's just see where it settles out here. I want to get a steady number. Yeah, it's actually around 12,700. 1600. And we're going to continue looking here and we'll see what we get. And it is It's a bit noisy signal. I see it's starting to trend around 10,300, same as it was the other day. Let's see if there's a significant difference with this. This is now a CBCS case and not a CGC case. How's it look? It is lower. Lower. Yeah, it's lower, definitely. Uh, not that low. I mean, better. it's better than the other one, right? It's dropped from about 10,500 to about 8,400. So the other one dropped to about 9,500. So um, I take it off here and it shoots up, so... Uh, but yeah, it uh, it was better. It was approximately twice as good as the CGC case, but uh, not uh, not terrific. It's probably the other one was about you know ten percent reduction. This is about twenty percent reduction in intensity. So that's that's what we got here. Turn this off, and it should take a dive to nothing. And it does. And that's that. Hello everyone, this is Rick Morgan, your comic book scientist. I just have a few small updates today. It's not a really big uh, video, not doing anything too interesting, but this is... Hello. This is Nolan Morgan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kid. My, uh, he's a kid, he's my assistant, he's been helping me for many episodes. We haven't seen him for a while, because he's usually in bed by the time I 
start doing my stuff, right? Yeah. So listen, Nolan, do you like comic books? Yes. Do you like teaching people about comic books? Yes. Well, guess what? Um, one of our viewers, his name is Buck Farmer, and he's the most hmm. one of the most interesting people like most of our people are. He sent you a copy of Spawn Number One. He thinks your name is Noah, but it's Nolan. He says, for Nolan's PC, it means your personal collection. It says, thanks for teaching. So somebody sent you Ooh. a copy of Spawn Number One. What's Spawn Number One? Well, you're too young to know. Spawn is a comic book from the 90s. That's really uh, Todd McFarlane, who was a famous Spider Man artist, started his own book and went to another company. And this is the number one book. He sent this to wow. you. In the mail as a gift to you really I mean and look on what a nice condition this is too what do you think wow that's amazing is that nice thank you are you happy yes yeah well what do you say to Buck Buck yeah, thank you Buck isn't that great yeah oh man he's a good guy right yeah yeah are you a good guy too I think so thanks for helping me with all my experiments and cleaning comic books and stuff right okay. who's your favorite superhero spider-man oh brother all right son all right, say goodbye to everybody in the land out there. Is there is this like a five minute? Is this like a one minute video? Yeah, well, it'll be more stuff, but you won't be. Yeah. Hey, you my son did one thing. Okay, guys. Anyways, that's the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. You did a good job today, son. Okay. You did. You're a good boy. Love okay. you. All right, take care. You can go about your business. Come back and help me later, okay? Okay. All right. See you. Bye. Peace. Peace. And second, I have our good pal uh, Stephen Nathan who has been um, giving us, you know, he's got an update on his, his wet cleaning. So he's been taking a little bit of um, Immacuclean on a microfiber cloth and rubbing it in the white areas while he protects the colored areas, he says, with a Mylite too, which is a really clever application, something I hadn't done before. I had to put a microfiber cloth down with some, in a place where there was some Immacuclean on it and rubbed it back it with like a pencil eraser to kind of get stuff up. But let's see what kind of success he has. Just personal war journal. This looks clearly the done. Well, look at this. I want you to observe this white area here in this white patch and around the logo, which is where I think he spent most of his effort. And look what he's done here. So this is the greatest part. So you can see this schmutz here around this area. And look how he's brightened that up. There's a little bit of dirt there still, but it looks much better. And actually, you can see some dirt here, too. You can see how he has removed it. And I don't think he's touched this Punisher logo at all. It doesn't look like it looks the same. But boy, there's sure a big difference here, right? And note here, look right here. See this area, all this white? And that's been cleaned up significantly. And it appears to be brighter if the lighting conditions are, are the same. And one thing I have noticed and been commented on, at least a friend of mine texted me that, hey, take your comics under the same light status pictures because we can't tell because the color balance is off from day to night. So I'm, I'm working on that myself. Um, I am looking here. There's a little bit of a wrinkle there that's gone. These look largely the same to my eye. Oh, well, it's a little cleaner actually. You have to look for it in this area, this particular area. But here's where there's it really shines. You can see that this kind of dirty area here, where it's you know this has been pressed too, so there's a wrinkle here. Dirt, 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 dirt. Pretty dirty, and he's cleaned it up nicely you know it looks it looks better we don't get to see inside this R over here but otherwise better and here's the back cover so dirt uh, little dirt not a lot but here look at this dirty cl cleaner a little bit of dirt but cleaner still um, definitely looks better and here look at this look at all that dirt and then look at this that's less dirt, right? And if you kept going at it, you know he would get all of that off of there too, right? And this is without having to rub with a melanin and, and sponge and like ruin the cover too. And here, oh here, especially look at this, it's a huge difference. Uh, wow, look at that. So this is just, you know, he said he put some on a microfiber cloth and rubbed it, put some immaculate clean on there. And yeah, especially down here, you can really tell he's done. A, he's done a fantastic job. He's got this spine tick out as well. So he's doing great. That is, uh, that's terrific. I really like, this looks like the same stuff over again. So I'm really happy to see that. Thank you for sharing Stephen N. There's the first Stephen here today.